Hey there, Geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to fix Microsoft Store. Try that again here. Looks a little something like this. Page cannot be loaded. Try again later. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here. We have video tutorials to go along with the things you can do. And a lot of these things kind of overlap each other, which will become clear as we go forward. We're looking to reset or clear the Microsoft Store information to see if we can get it running again. And we're going to do that by clearing the store cache first. Uh, once again, there's a video here. If you'd like to watch the video, I think that's only two or three minutes. And it walks you through how to do this. But there's actually two steps in there for all users. We're just going to clear out what you have for the currently logged in users. So press the Windows key plus R for me. And type in wsreset.exe. Once you've got that typed in, click OK or press Enter. Now, that's going to basically reset through PowerShell or Command Prompt. It's going to reset the Windows Store, take about 30 seconds, and the Windows Store will appear. Now, as you can see, there it is. Now, if it didn't appear and the error message repeated, oddly enough, I did it twice. And it's, you can actually see it in this video if you watch it about a minute, somewhere around a minute. You can actually watch me type it in. doesn't work. Type it in again. Works. Got me. All right. The Windows Store app troubleshooters. If you didn't know, the troubleshooters are pretty darn handy. They basically in, contain a list of every known fix for Windows 10. So what you want to do is Windows key plus S for search, or if you've got this open down here, just start typing in troubleshooters. Fastest way to get there. Click on troubleshoot settings. We're going to scroll down, and we're going to click on the Windows Store apps, and go ahead and click on run the troubleshooter. So it's going to go through, you see everything on the screen, initializing, checking keys, checking services. So it's going through and checking everything that it knows could be wrong with your Windows Store, and then it's going to try and fix it for you. So as you can see, I don't have a problem right now, so that's what I get. But if it tells you to fix something, go ahead and try your store and see if everything's working. So that's pretty easy. I like that one. Once again, just for your own learning, if you want to, this video explains everything about troubleshooters a little bit about how they work and you can see in the background here where it came up with some problems so that's kind of neat just to give you an idea so maybe down the road when you have a problem uh, hopefully you'll still come back to major geeks but hey maybe you can fix it yourself without us i'd be very sad all right let's reset the store and settings and once again this is where i was mentioning earlier you're going to notice some of these things are repeating and that's okay we're going to do them until it works we're going to copy this here in bold right there press the windows key plus r control v to paste it and go ahead and hit enter we're looking for the microsoft store and by the way if for some reason that doesn't work for you you can go to start settings and as you can see all it did was shortcut us to the control panel apps and features or settings all right, so let's find the Microsoft Store. There it is. Click on Advanced Options right here. Start scrolling and you're looking for Reset. And as I mentioned, we're resetting it again. We've got the PowerShell way, we've got the Settings way, we've got the Control Panel way. Now it shows it's reset. Finally, let's see. Local Cache Folder. So we want to delete this folder, but odds are at this point, this is why it's way down the list. Odds are you probably delete it with everything we've done so far, but let's take a look. Windows key plus R again. Control V to paste this right here in bold without the period. Just that right there. Click OK. Now what we're looking for is a folder called Microsoft.WindowsScore underscore blah, 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 all this here. As you can see, I don't have it. That means we probably reset the store and it's probably working, we hope. So once you get to that folder, the Microsoft.Windows Store, you'll expand it, you'll find local cache. Let me see if I can show you how this works a little bit. I'm not gonna do it, but, so let's say this was the local cache folder. Oops. You would basically hit the Control A button and that would allow you to highlight anything in the folder and subfolders. So control A, see how that lit up? 
now you'll press the delete key and you'll delete everything that you found in the local cache folder here all right so let's say we reset it and it's still not working we're sure at this point as you can tell we've deleted all the extra cache we've deleted manually so the only thing we got left is to reinstall it so we want to copy this big long code and sometimes this works sometimes it doesn't sometimes we'll get error messages etc so I may get error messages now because my store is working so let's open PowerShell as admin we can do that with the Windows key plus X and hit Windows PowerShell as admin right here highlight this code in bold as we just did come back over here and press control V that will paste the line hit enter and kick back and wait uh, it's just the dot backslash thing let's see here cannot find so the best you can do is try it and see if it works as I said it's hit or miss for everybody give it a shot that's all we can do right and hopefully one of these steps solved your problem I'm pretty confident in. if not leave a comment I'll see what I can do for you leave a comment on YouTube leave a comment uh, major geeks whatever you want to do uh, bottom right corner you're getting a little thing popping up here with a little logo major geeks you click that you subscribe we'd appreciate that thanks for watching see ya